Hi there and welcome to Busternet. Yes, these are the Cop Diaries, a chance for me to play with Liverpool. Um, I do this every season on FM on Football Manager. This season I'm doing a save with uh, Liverpool and doing a save with Staley Bridge Diaries. Staley Bridge Diaries happens to be a bit more interesting because I tend to lose a, a bit more there. And uh, it's a question of trying to balance the requirements of trying to survive with the limitations that you have with the resources at your disposal. And uh, with Liverpool, on the other hand, I haven't had to sign any players. I, signed, I did sign one player out of curiosity. I wanted to put this player in and see how, whether I could make him work as a playmaker on the flanks. But he hardly gets a chance to play. I mean, I play him once in a while. So I just want to see what happens to his attributes at the end of the season. This will be interesting. Uh, to see whether my training program has a big effect on him, in spite of the fact that he may only play like seven games an entire season. Uh, and with this Liverpool side, it's been a different story. Um, it's more a story of winning. <laughs> it's like with all greens all over the place. I've it's 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 not something I didn't. I mean, I was talking to someone about this, and I was going. It was a dilemma for me. Do I do this show? Because it's going to be very boring. What can I do? Um, so I, I try to bring matches where I have to break down defensive sides. I did that in the last show. And then sometimes I bring matches that could be special. Like we're playing Manchester United in the quarterfinal. We've already beaten Manchester United 2-1 this season. So it was a very close fight when we played them away from home. Uh, we had a near scare <laughs> in the Club World Cup Championships. right? Tigres against Liverpool. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I was, I just put on, I just put players like Mignole on. I, I played Nathaniel Klein in the wrong position. I asked Liam, I gave Liam Coyle a start. I played with Adam Lalana, Ben Woodburn and Diva Origi in front. By the call on Andy Robertson, Oxlade Chamberlain and Mo Salah. And I found out that uh, Tigres was not going down without a fight. It took us all the way to a penalty shooter. It was the longest penalty shooter I've ever been in my life because I think it ended up with our keeper as well. So I was, I was like, okay, this is getting ridiculous. But we managed to prevail. I mean, can you believe it? They play a defensive four-one-three-one-one. I didn't. Re I mean, I played my normal game, which is very attacking. I went camping in their half. I tried to break them down. Um, it does. It didn't work. They were. They, they actually. Made me sit up and notice. Then the next game, Gremio, we beat them comfortably. Uh, Fabinho with two goals, actually. And then Divo Origi scoring. And we, all did, we did all the work in the first half and sealed the Club World Cup championships. Uh, but now, with the rest of the league, certain things have popped up. So, like, when I do my tactics now, I, I, I kind of thought I did this before. But uh, but here, when we do our corners, it, it, the interesting thing is that I... I s I have heard of people having issues with long shots, right? And uh, I hate to say this, but yeah, I did have an issue with long shots when the beta first launched because, I mean, who doesn't want to play with the presets, with the counter press, with your, you know, all the nice, wonderful toys that we have, our disp have, you know, they offered us. So I went and did ev what everybody would do. And then um, I was conceding long shots like everyone else. And then I thought to myself, oh, hey, then I read the patch notes. The patch notes made a mention about tweaking something at the edge of the area for long shots. And I was thinking to myself, hmm, this sounds interesting. So what I've done is I went back in and I, I decided to tweak my set pieces. So what I have in my set pieces are two players here who've got very good anticipation and acceleration. Their job is to, uh, and concentration. So they've got all the right attributes for you, to, for them to step up, you know, either... They pick up the ball and they lead the counter-attack. Or if the ball recycles to the front of the box, then they can help close down. Of course, I have two more other players who will go back. And I have to do the same thing with these two. Acceleration. Um, I need acceleration, anticipation, concentration with them, although you don't see it. Uh, and this is the position that's, I think, by default, most people... If you take the default settings, you will notice that is not one of the positions that is in the default. Usually you have like one, two, three here and then two on the post and you get five round here and then you get the rest and go back, I think, or man mark or whatever. But you need to put somebody here on the far post. And when you attack, basically I do the same thing. But my routine's all mixed. And it's no like, I'm not exploiting the far post or the near post or any jack shits, thing like that. I just go mix and just let the boys play the way they want to play. 
uh, the, maybe the only thing I'll change is the attack routine, so left and right. I actually want the DM back. I've got this is a bit more. Um, this is a bit scary because I've got three. But I I kind of like having four. I know people might think that's a bit of an overkill, but seriously, I don't need I don't need so many players in the box. We'll probably probably have a good time. So I'm gonna ask Jordan Henderson to stay back. Man, this is really. I mean, I'm playing United next in the League Cup, right? Or quarterfinal. So the other thing I tend to do is uh free kicks as well. Like I've got far post players marking the far post for my um indirect deep ones and wide ones. So I do that and I have seen that I don't concede shots from long shots. I mean I've said it now I the only team I think that has uh scored against me in long shots has been United. Uh no, sorry, that's in the on the Staley Bridge diaries. Staley Bridge also have a They've only considered 12% of their shots from long shots. And uh, that's basically they've only considered four goals from long shots. Two from open play, two from set pieces. Liverpool have only considered two. And they did that early in the season when I was not so... Yeah, I wasn't paying too much attention to this. We considered one to Brighton and to Wolves. Yeah, I can still remember the two games. Uh, with Staley Bridge, we considered two from free kicks. They were direct free kicks. One from a match against Lincoln in the League Cup. And the other one against United. Wow. I remembered all those because they're not so many to you know I, I kind of remember and sometimes I do my homework sometimes I don't right uh, and then when it comes to training there's another piece of the puzzle as well that some people might not realize that within your first up you've got to look at your players you've got to, long shots as a function of your DM your players the players they have at disposal so with Liverpool I went to look out for uh, you know, play training as well. So I went to the training and started like, okay, defend free kick, attack free kick. So I've got all this set up and then I've got a very aggressive defending routine right now. I call it, I really have to give them names so I can remember them because right now I've got defend one, two, three and I really go like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> so, uh, so I've got to, I've got to watch my language too on the show because it's not, this is getting out of hand. Uh, so mentoring am I mentoring anyone no not really <laughs> you, people might be surprised but I'm not because I don't really have anyone I'm not jumping up and going uh, I need to mentor you or you there's no real I'm not, I'm not staring Gi, okay, I'm going to move him to the main squad okay, I'm going to move him to the main squad that, that player I want to mentor right Rafael Camacho not really Um, I'm not even sure whether he's I mean Jürgen Klopp in actually rates him. Um, his personality is fairly ambitious. That's fine. I actually look at that personality. If it's balanced, I'll, I'll, I will definitely do something. So I'm going to move him to the main squad. So I go in there. I've got this really easy way of doing it. Ask the assistant. If he pops up, he should pop up. Jordan Anderson is a professional. Key, Hannah. Okay, Liam Kwan and Joe Gomez. That's a nice group. Uh, professional, significant, light, and average. Okay, this is very nice. Uh, James Milner, Ben Woodburn, Maxine Lopez, Dominic Solanke, professional, but fairly sporting, fairly ambitious. Yeah, okay, this this might be this this is also not a bad group. So I'm gonna leave it like this, and I'm not gonna change it. Uh, then I'm looking at things like the uh, player traits. Guess what? Whenever possible, try to play on that. Fine. Dive into tackles. Shouldn't affect any of these. Um, Jordan Henderson, times to wet the ball, dictates tempo, likes to see the ball. Okay. Keanu Hoover, Hoover is a Defender, right, who's for some strange reason might end up is in that group, which doesn't make any sense, but never mind, I'll just take it the way it is. Well, here we are this weekend. Oh, yes, the manager of this this uh, this little ex uh, match I'm playing with is none other than Jose Mourinho. So, as you can see, if you do the right kind of training, you get all these small little bonuses before you go into your next match. And here we are, Liverpool, goal difference of 42. Yeah, I score like an average of three goals a game. We've got Man City chasing us, Arsenal and United, and very there's a very sore Jose Mourinho who just wants to get one over me. This will be interesting. Joe Matip, yeah, he was injured during training. He should be back in two days. We'll play with Joe Gomez. Uh, James Milner, Joe Matip, Ben Woodburn. I like to bring Ben Woodburn in for some matches, but in this case, I'm going to rest uh, Joe Matip. Actually, I have to bring him just in case the shit hits the fan and we need a central defender. Uh, hey, Surely, yeah, I can't bring Liam Call. Liam Call is developing very nicely. He's been in, yeah, I promoted him to the main squad. I play him in some games. He's really coming along. I'm very impressed with his, uh, his training. Now, this guy who's just been promoted here, we're going to make him available for the 
under 23 squad for 90 minutes. Yep. He's probably not going to get a chance to play for the main team. Moreno is a sad little boy who is really pissed off that he doesn't get to play. We've got Divo Origi, Liam Coyle, um, Ben Woodman, Sadio Mane is injured, Adam Lalana, Solanke. Yeah, this should be fine. Yeah, I haven't had to, I haven't this, you know, I haven't gone out and go like, I need to go and get players for this team. So far, there has not been the need to because this is a fairly solid Liverpool side. But this game I'm playing against uh, United, I might be... I haven't seen the uh, scouting report yet as well. So let's go check this one out. Scouting report says defensive, flexible, wing back, full back, right flank coming. Their right, f their left flank is going to be attacking my right flank. Uh, okay, we go very attacking with an overlap down the left. Uh, and I'll, for, I'm actually going to, I'm going to hit early crosses, no pass into space. Play with a super low tempo. This is how I'm going to start against United. Hopefully, we win the coin toss. Set our position instructions, they're all set. Team talk is done. Uh, I think I was watching it. Comprehensive, huh? let's team talk, let's go out there. Impress me, we are only playing against Jose Mourinho. It's not the best weather football out there. Really, I didn't even notice the weather. Uh, okay. Um, send the assistant. <laughs> okay, seriously, there is a weather issue here. My goodness, I really don't pay attention to these things. Okay, let's match over you. Nope, it won't tell me there. Match information. Um, okay. There we are. Hail. We are playing in hail. Shit, I thought... If there is hail, shouldn't the boys be like kept inside? Like guys, don't go out. The ball might get flattened. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I don't know about hail. I mean, I mean from Asia, the, we get like rain, like thunderstorms. Okay, we have a corner. Uh, straight goes to De Gea. Um, we have Rashford. Oh, uh, and that would be offside. Yep, go. It's offside, man. There's no way that's on. Come on. Yep, he's offside. Okay, it's another free kick from Rashford. They're really testing me with their set pieces. Okay, it's 12 minutes in. United playing quite well. Um, This will be an interesting game. Alex Oxlade, Champion, has already picked up a cut. And um, they're doing a very good job of putting me under pressure. Lukaku out to Danilo. Out to Shaw. That's where they're coming down. That flank. Uh, Lukaku. I'm looking at this player. Okay, they're done well. We have to defend the corner. Come on, our set pieces better work. Uh, we've got enough boys in the box. They've done well. They've cleared the danger. They've blocked the long shot. Okay. Defend from the other side now. Done. Cleared. Virgil Van Dyke. No options. So far, it's been all Manchester United in the League Cup quarterfinal. We haven't had a shot yet. Andy Robertson now gets a yellow card. This is interesting because it just means that I'm the one that's under pressure. We're the ones having to defend. Rashford, it's... Uh, yeah, Lukaku was the one who committed the foul. Fabinho to Virgil van Dijk. He brings the ball forward, looks around for Shakiri. Shakiri looks for Firmino. Firmino will find Andy Robertson, gets us a corner. Mm, okay, one small change. Andy... You're gonna go complete wing back. Corner taken. It's out to Chamberlain to Gomez. This is another corner. This is getting very boring. I'm waiting to see which game I'm gonna lose next because I, I'm actually gonna be happy if we lose a game. But it'll be nice if we win everything. But then, you know, realistically speaking, it can't really happen all the time. Allen has been. I don't believe it. It's a League Cup quarter final. Then this is a player sent off and we've taken, the, taken advantage of it. Ah, oh, United have now got nobody on the flanks. That's it. We're coming. <laughs> We're coming, United. Okay. Overlap down the right now. Pass into space and hit early crosses and be more expressive. Come on, boys. Get another goal for Daddy. Skip is a corner, I know. But then, you know, who doesn't want a goal, right? Okay, we've got a free kick. It's going to be... Andy Robertson with the ball to Shakiri. Chamberlain plays it back to Robertson to Shakiri. Shakiri brings it to Alex Chamberlain. He finds Mo Salah. 
for Alexander Arnold, back to Fabinho. And it's Robertson. They can't get a shot on, but they recycle possession. Salah goes around. Remember, we are playing very attacking mentality, and my team is doing this. There's something right about the way we're playing. We get a corner, it's all right. Uh, hmm. We've got to check out this guy, but he's got hard tackling on. Remove it. This guy, does he have hard tackling? No. We'll confirm the changes. We're out of here. Okay, we've got that goal from uh, the great and the great VVD. Uh, okay, we end the half first half and stop passing into space. There's no need to push the anti. We've got a one goal lead. United might have to come out. If they do decide to come out, it'll be fine. Uh, United still defensive, but they've conceded a goal. I'm far from please. Danilo to Shaw to Matic. Is it better to De Gea? Um, Wurzo Van Dijk is Firmino Chamberlain to Shakiri. Shakiri will it's Mo Salah but he misses the chance to make it too we have another corner now goes far post Matip was waiting for the header we've got to change things around tactics okay swap the boys now we've got Gomez here Robertson I'm going to take him off and I'm going to bring on uh, James Milner and ask him to be the fullback for a while. Complete wing back, not for you, but mm, this is this is not good. Okay. This is not a good choice. Uh at Oxlade Chamberlain, I'm gonna take you off and bring on Vinaldum. And then we're gonna swap you around. Swap you here. I hope I don't make a mistake with this. We've got a corner and it goes it's a penalty? Yes. You shoved Joe Gomez. We swapped him around and you decided to pull him down inside the box. Fabinho, because they swapped positions. I was I wanted uh, Virgil van Dijk to be on the far post because that uh, sorry, Matip Virgil van Dijk to be on the far post. Sometimes I change them around. Yeah. So we've got another goal, it's a penalty. Danilo to Andy Herrera to Lukaku. Brings the ball forward and Fabinho does well. Andy Robertson with the ball finds Firmino. Firmino comes forward and he's going to play it out to Mo Salah to Henderson. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, why do I have this up? This is unnecessary information. Here we go. There's too much information now. Bang. Bang. Okay, this is enough. Okay, Henderson out to Mo Salah, cuts inside, finds Shakiri. Shakiri has options to the left, but he decides to take a shot. Uh, team instructions. Yeah, it's already white, so Shakiri, greedy boy. Uh, let's look at the player conditioning because this is not as important. Boys, Mourinho was the one who was give, giving me a lot of stick before the game. He said the success that Liverpool has had is undeserved. We should easily beat them. Okay, thank you very much. I said nothing. Okay, so I'm going to take off Firmino. Um, Paul Pogba has picked up a yellow card. Um, Honor taken. Don't tell me it's a third goal from a set piece. Please, Firmino, I'll leave you on the pitch. Okay, Firmino slides it in. Oh, they can't get the ball out. We just keep bringing it back in. Vinaldum out to Gomez to Shakiri. Shakiri goes wide. Salah, Henderson. It's to Fabinho, Fabinho to Henderson, now to Alexander Arnold, crosses to the far post, Shakiri looks at Robertson, Robertson buys us a corner. Okie dokie, we got Firmino, back to Alexander Arnold, now to Firmino, to Alexander Arnold, nice. Other Gomez, Robertson, and Henderson, ooh, that was a. Yeah, well, he didn't have much time for the shot. Yep, but he has more time for this. There is United can't come out. We just we just camped in their half for the entire duration of this match. So from the moment the whistle blew, we decided to set up shop in United's half. Okay, so let's uh let's make it very interesting. I'll take off the keeper. This is the biggest insult I can give United. I wish I should have played with Simon Mineri from the start, right? But you just give uh, C uh, Simon Milele some time to come out there. He probably won't get a touch of the ball. Fabinho, because the other keeper is falling asleep. Is that nothing to do this whole game? And hey, Robertson into the box. Got Fabinho, Henderson, Alexander Arnold. Takes a shot from outside the box. Well, that's it. Liverpool comfortably have a 
taken United out of the quarterfinals of the League Cup. I'm very interested to see what Mourinho has to say now. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, so United, 39% possession. Yeah, it's okay. It's a good win. I'm, it's very business-like performance from us. And uh, let's see what happens. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. I want to attend the match conference. You managed to grab the win today. What did you make of the game? It was very boring. It's a great result. No, it's always nice. The game is over. I don't want to dwell on the same victory. They truly showed the areas that we, we needed to improve. Correct. Another clean sheet for the side today. It's not 347 minutes since Alisson Becker has, hasn't con had last conceded. How much of that is down to your goalkeeper's performance? All of the defense did their bit. I don't believe in this shit. As a Liverpool lad, TA is no stranger to the rivalry at United. How important is it to have players that understand the passion of these derby games? I put 11 foreigners out there if we prove our chances of winning. It's true. <laughs> um, I'm wrong. I don't think it makes a difference. My players are professional. Yeah, I'm not. They're destined. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll take the more political view. Like, is that an incentive? You are, must be pleased with Jordi's uh, Anderson's performance today. He was terrific. Uh, it was a good team performance. I don't like to draw attention to one, any specific player. The draw for the league has been rather kind, matching your side to, against Norwich a considerably. Is there an assessment you agree with? Norwich are a dangerous team with a good number of players. This is an easy match. Because I wanted to make it feel as if you, you, uh, Mori, uh, United was an easy match. Do you get along with Moreno? I don't have time for him. <laughs> there has been a large show of support from the fans for your attacking intent. Is there something we can continue to expect from you? I have made a commitment to play football the right way and we're going to attack as often as possible. We're not Mourinho. Okay, Liverpool receive some money, we draw. Let's see if Mourinho has something to say. Nope. I, want, I actually want... I'm waiting to see if Mourinho has anything. Come on, Mourinho, say something. I just... Come on, Mourinho. I mean, Profeto spoke at length about his reaction to the match. Do you get along with Mourinho? I don't have to... Yeah, some more. Some more. Come on, say something. Man, Mourinho, come out there. Does he doesn't say anything. He's, we, I don't believe it. I've shut Mourinho up. <laughs> Man, Mourinho, let's let's go look for United's manager, okay? Uh, Mourinho, let's see. He's still managing this club. This is the amazing thing about him. All right, he hasn't been fired yet. Look at this. Uses, this is something that I like to check out uh, in games. Um, this, this, these things, they tell you how they play. Right, so the moment he takes a lead, right, they drop mentality. Sit back and protect a lead. So they will drop mentality, they have a lower D-line and they switch to use counter attacks. Now, you also can tell how often teams actually change. Yeah, if you have the uh, formations up, you can go in here and mouse over this. When I played Leicester, they played with a 5-1-2-2 DM. They Started with a 5-1-2-2 DM and finished with a 4-4-2-2. So if you go into the match, you can see the highlights. You can tell, uh, like here you will see that I haven't changed. Anyway, out of, since we're here anyway, I thought I'd talk about something that I'm working on, a project I'm working on. Basically, it's a guidebook. Like I did one last year where I had some tactics and I explained them and you know some concepts that might help people. Some some things here and there. I just it wasn't a big thing. It was just about twelve tactics, and I, I, I had a guidebook and just nice little pictures inside them. <laughs> so I'm hoping that uh, you guys will find it useful. But I've tried it out with some of my teams. If you remember from F, a lot of these tactics come from FM18. I don't intend to change a lot. You know, if it works in FM18, it should work in FM19 with a few tweaks, defensive shape, and you know, if it works in FM19, I should see work in FM20. Um, so. Um, I've got this the four one three twos I used in FM eighteen if you remember. Then I've got a four three three narrow system. Yes, I have a four three three narrow system too. We played it against Celtic, <laughs> a similar system to the one I used in FM eighteen, the King's Revenge. It is back for FM nineteen, and we clobbered uh, Celtic with it. But it, it was a sign, you know. Celtic came in a narrow formation. The moment I saw narrow, I went with the four three three. It never. Stood a chance after that. Then we played uh the five two one two as well. I think this is a Leon Demon. Uh, so I've got the Leon Demon as well. There's some new tactics from this season are there too. Some old tactics from last season are in there. There's a four four two as well. Um, there is a four one four one. Um, this four one four one is pretty nice. I like this one. It's called the Iron Side Iron Height System. I use uh, the Iron Height System with my my teams, and I like Iron Height because it's a fairly aggressive. Def uh, how do I put this? 
it's a 4141 that can have the potential of outperforming a lot of tactics. Yeah, that's the best way I can say this because it's very, very strong. I like it because against a lot of teams, it hits with punch, a lot of punch, and um, it's it looks good. I, I think in one of the game changer episodes, I actually featured the, I actually recommended the use of the four one four for someone, and and I showed the transitions that can happen with that uh, system. So I, I used it with a different team like West Ham. I can't remember whether it was West Ham or Newcastle, but one of them. And then uh, we've, I've gone back to my 4141 with my Firefox system, which is something I like. You look at Firefox has gone like, you know, I love my Firefox system. It just scores goals. Um, in case you're wondering what the system is all about, it's, I like to play on attacking and very attacking mentalities. And people have been saying you can't generate high possession numbers on higher mentalities, but you can. It depends on how you set your tactic up. So we've set our tactic up in the best way possible to generate those kind of numbers. And I also have like a wing back here taking few risks, sitting narrow, closing down less. Yeah, because, he, I mean, I don't need him to close down more, right? Because I've got this bunch of jokers doing that. And then this guy, he's going to be attacking a lot. So I want him to close down less, in fact. I don't want him to go running around all over the pitch because he's going to be... He's going to be... Half the time, he's going to be here. So when he comes back, I don't want him to start closing down a bit too early. I just want him to get into position if he needs to. Sometimes I, I do change to regroup, but so far this season with Liverpool, I haven't. Uh, with Steady Bridge, I do regroup a lot because Steady Bridge don't have very good defenders. My decision to use regroup or not to use... Uh, my, decision to, when, my decision to use counterpress or regroup is entirely contingent upon my, decentral, my back four. If my back four is really good, I will use counter press because and if I have faith in my players up front to keep the ball and do something with it after winning it back I'm going to use counter press but if I have if I'm playing with steady bridge I'll, I won't counter press it's just way too risky so I've been playing very attacking mentalities and we've been doing okay I mean yeah it's, it's not 70-80% possession I mean it's decent 60% possession on average for most of our games uh, so sometimes we get 50 50 odd percent but this this time around we did quite well but i think the aggression that we showed right at the start and forcing united into a defensive huddle just ended their game for them i mean they couldn't come out and then eventually this guy got sent off then to see that too sometimes well i hope you enjoyed this edition of the cop diaries if you have any questions please look me up on twitter at bustanet or addicted to fm.com my website once again i want to thank all my patrons for their continued support this channel and make these kind of shows possible for the rest of the community you guys take care have a good one i'll see you again soon Bye bye Thank <laughs> you.